Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video, we're gonna be making this really cute husky shadow box frame using a free SVG download from my website. I've put a link to the download page in the description of this video. So head on over to craftwithsarah.com to get your free SVG and then we can crack on with the tutorial. Once you've uploaded the SVG into Design Space, it will load in quite small by default, so you need to remember to resize it. The easiest way to make sure you're going to get a perfect fit in your shadow box is to undo the back of your shadow box and take out the spacer which sits inside. And the spacer is kind of a square frame inside your frame and that's generally what you would use to um, add some depth to whatever you put in your frame. We won't actually be using that spacer for our project because all the depth will come from the cardstock itself but we can use it to measure to know how big we need to cut everything. So take a ruler and measure from one edge of the spacer to the other and you want to make sure you measure from the outer edge of the wood. This will give you the exact size of the inside of your box so you can go ahead and change the size of the husky design by clicking on it and then in the width box at the top type it in so mine is 6.5 inches and then the height will automatically change as well and then you're all ready to go ahead and cut this out. So here is my design all cut out. I've used textured cardstock which I think gives it a nice extra effect. And I've just placed the layers one on top of the other and I've got all the little bits and pieces set on the back of my shadow box so that I don't lose them. So we need to stick this together. Take the bottom layer which is the sky and then the next layer which is the mountains and set the others to one side for now. Turn the mountains upside down and then take some foam pads or foam tape and start sticking some on the back. So you want to give it a nice coverage so that um, it's got some around the edges to keep it sturdy but also some along the middle so that it doesn't start sagging when it's got all the other layers on top of it. Now my foam pads are quite big so I'm going to have to cut them to get them to fit along the edges of the square. Cutting them is really easy, just take a pair of scissors and go down them. They do cut very easily um, and then when they're smaller you can just fit them in and make sure you've got enough along the top edges of the frame that it's going to stick nicely. So I think just one more along there and one down here and that'll do. So once you're happy with your foam pads, peel off the backs to release all of the sticky. Once you've done that, bring the sky back in and then stick this on top and when you're sticking these shadow boxes together you need to be really careful to be precise so get those edges lined up exactly because if you don't then it won't fit into your shadow box because it will be bigger than what you measured for. Now the mountains come with a little secondary piece which I've got over here if I can pick it up just to add a little bit of extra detail so it goes there like that and for this one, this extra piece, I'm not going to put foam pads on it because this isn't a layer in itself, it's just a bit of extra decoration so I'm going to take some tacky glue and put some glue on the back you don't need too much just a little bit to get it to stick and then stick it straight on to the mountain layer. If you're not sure where it's supposed to go, then refer back to the original design in Design Space to find the positioning. So once that's done, it's time to move on to the next layer, which is the clouds. So we're going to do the same as what we did with the mountains. Turn it upside down so we've got the back of the clouds image 
and add your fan pads. So here it is with all the fan pads and I've peeled off the sticky and so this is ready to put on top of the mountains. So line it up exactly on top, make sure all your edges are nice and straight and then when you're happy push it down to get all the foam pads to stick. And now it's time to move on to the next layer which is the white of the husky. And when I cut this out I used a slightly different white cardstock so this one is kind of more ivory and it's a different texture to the others and that's just because um, I wanted to make sure it would stand out from the snow so by doing it in a slightly different colour you can get more of an impact on your design. So the same thing, I've turned it upside down and I'm going to add the foam pads. Here it is with the foam pads and all of the sticky bits removed. So I can bring the rest of it in and line this one up and stick it down. Alright, so this is looking really cool already and we just have one layer left which is the top of the husky. But before we stick this one on, we need to add all the little details that I've got in the back of the shadow box. So turn the husky upside down and then you can see you've got all these little bits in here. And if you need to, you can refer back to the um, original design to find out where to put them. But these have all been made a little bit bigger than the holes in the husky, which means you've got a little bit of space to add the glue. So I'm going to start with the tongue and put a little bit of glue around the edge. It doesn't matter if you add more glue than is going to be covered up because it will dry clear and we'll make sure it's dry before we turn this over and stick it on. So I've got the tongue here. I'm just going to move this up so you can see a bit better. And I'm going to stick it over the hole making sure it doesn't go into any of the places it's not supposed to and if you're not sure just turn it over and double check oh, that looks good so I'll leave that one there and then I will move on to some of the other pieces so this long piece at the bottom I've cut from um, a slightly lighter grey than I've used for the rest of the husky and this is optional you don't have to add these in but I think it just adds a nice bit of detail back into the design. So it's a little bit it's like assembling a jigsaw puzzle of just working out where all these pieces go and sticking them on. I'm going to do the eye next which I've cut in a nice bright blue kind of Game of Thrones-esque <laughs> cover that up and then I've got a few more pieces which are for the nose and then the little gaps around the eye so let's do the nose first I'm going to put some glue all the way around it and which bits is the nose I think this piece there we are and then this bit here again refer back to the design in design space if you need to and then I've got these bits around the eye to do. So just stick it over the gaps. Don't worry about any excess glue. There we are. And I have two bits left. So I think this was a bit of the mountain that I missed. So never mind on that one. And then I have this one, which I've actually cut from the same colour black. I'm not quite sure where this one goes. It might have even been one of my uh, outcuts. 
you know what, I'm going <laughs> to leave that on for now. I'm in a different room to my computer so I can't just go and check. Um, but I'll leave that one out for now and see if I can work it out in a bit. So when you turn it over, you can see that that is all nicely filled in. And you've got all this extra detail now coming through from these pieces we've added in. I've just missed the gap a little bit with that one. So just lift it up while the glue is still a bit wet. And move it into position. Alright, so when that's all dry enough, you can add the foam pads to the back. And then we can finish all of the layers. So here it is with the foam pads. And now I can pick this up, bring the existing one in. And then stick this down. Again, making sure it lines up along with the edges, push it down, okay so that is all the layering done and that looks really cute, if I turn it round you can see all the layers and it's making a really nice 3D effect so it's ready to go in the frame. I still can't work out what those other bits were for so I'm just going to ignore that for now, actually you know what I think no, that doesn't fit either. No idea. <laughs> Alright, so here's my frame. And I'm going to take out the spacer because we don't need that. And all you need to do is turn it round and fit it in. You might have a little bit of space at the back if it's not quite thick enough to fill your shadow box. So you have two choices. You can either add something into the back to fill up the gap in here or you can add it in a, the other side so before you put your design in you can just add some foam spaces or something around the edges or a bit of blue tack in the corners to give it a bit more distance away from the frame but I think I'm going to do it this way round so I put it in so when I turn it over it will be nice and close to the glass I've got some blue tech and I'm just going to peel off a load and gently place it in the corners of the back of my, my um, cardstock. So try and make it so that it isn't going to go, you know, the other side of the frame that we made, so that outside square, because we don't want it showing through the layers of card. I'm just gently placing this on and do one in each corner and one on two of the edges I think will be enough. And then when you take the back of your frame you can just put it on top of that blue tack and it will fill in the space that we had left. So when we close it, it's going to hold it all in place really nicely. So here is our final frame and I think it looks lovely. All those different layers have come together really nicely to create the shadow box. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more Cricut Craft tutorials and free SVGs. If you liked this design and you want to create your own, then follow the link in the description below to my lovely layering lessons where you can find out how to design your very own shadow box as well as lots of other types of layered cardstock projects to make with your Cricut. Thank you for watching. Bye.